Welcome to the IBM Watson Knowledge Studio Technical Deep Dive. In this video, we will see a demonstration of how to use WKS and learn about various features of this offering. To use Watson Knowledge Studio, you will need an IBM Cloud account. You can find WKS in the IBM Cloud catalog under the Watson category. Then create your instance of WKS. Now we're ready to get started using the service. First, create a workspace for your WKS model. If you are working on multiple models, you can build them in different workspaces. Then you can create your type system. In this demo, we've already created one for the automotive domain. Let's review the essential elements of a Watson Knowledge Studio type system. A type system defines things that are relevant in your domain that you want to label with an annotation. The basic building block of a type system is an entity type. Entity types are categories of objects to annotate, for example, under the entity type manufacturer, annotate any mention of Ford, Honda, Toyota and so on. The entity type model would include mentions like Model T or Camry. Relation types are another key feature of a type system. These define how two entity types are connected. For example, a built by relationship type could tie together mentions of Model T, a model, and of Ford, a manufacturer. Your next step is to upload domain-specific documents to Knowledge Studio. These can be in CSV or ZIP format. It's important to choose documents that are representative of the domain you are training Watson, since your annotations on these documents will be used to train your machine learning model. If you want to speed up the annotation process, use a pre-annotator. You can upload dictionaries of terms that you want automatically annotated. Dictionaries must be mapped to an entity type. In this example, any car company in the dictionary, like Volvo, will be annotated as a mention of the manufacturer entity type. To save annotation time, you can use dictionaries or natural language understanding to pre-annotate your newly ingested documents. Refer to our documentation for more details on how dictionaries are formatted. Next, create annotation sets, which are groupings of documents assigned to a specific annotator. You can group these sets together into tasks, then assign these tasks to annotators on your team and track their progress. Now it's time to annotate. Annotators can choose from the documents they were assigned. In this sample, the annotations have already been completed. The text has been annotated with mentions of our defined entity types, along with relations and co-references. When the annotations are done, mark the documents as completed so your project manager will know that you are finished. Then the project manager can review that submitted annotation set and accept or reject it, adding it to the ground truth. Ground truth is the collection of approved annotated data that is used to train Watson on a new domain. After these steps, you can train your machine learning model. You will use some annotated documents to train the model and some to test it. You also have the option to include dictionaries in the training of your machine learning model and reuse or edit the mapping of dictionary categories to entity types. Now let's switch to a sample workspace with an already trained model and see how it performs. You can view a variety of statistics about your model, such as the most commonly annotated mentions, relations and co-references. There are three primary statistics used to evaluate the performance of your machine learning model. Precision refers to the fraction of the machine learning annotator's output that is correct. For example, if the trained WKS model annotates five mentions of car manufacturers, but only four of those mentions are actually car manufacturers, the model would have a precision of 0.8. Recall refers to the fraction of correct labels, defined by human annotators, that the machine learning annotator identified. If there are 10 car models mentioned in a document, but the machine learning annotator only labels six of them, the model's recall score would be 0.6. To evaluate the overall model, there is the F1 score. This is a weighted average of the other two metrics, precision and recall. All of them range from 0 to 1, with 1 being the ideal score. Since you might want to iterate on your model to improve it, 
Watson Knowledge Studio allows you to easily manage different versions. Take a snapshot of a recently trained model and compare statistics of your model versions. You can deploy any of your model versions directly at this point. Watson Knowledge Studio models can be deployed directly in Watson Discovery Service, Watson Natural Language Understanding, or exported for manual deployment to Watson Explorer. Thanks for watching this technical deep dive for Watson Knowledge Studio. If you want to keep learning about WKS, please refer to our technical documentation. If you have questions about WKS, you can search or post in our internal or external forum depending on your status. Sign up today on IBM Cloud.